Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, James Pruitt. This is my third um, uh, lecture on generating functions. Last time, I just when I finished off last time, I just started to uh, prove this conjecture. So that's what we're going to take up. Uh, if the sequence a sub n has a non-zero constant, then a sub n has a multiplicative inverse. And uh, we argued last time that uh, we, we can assume that a is zero is equal to one because if it's not we just uh, multiply by the constant sequence whose constant term is one over a naught okay let's let k be the smallest be the smallest positive integer um, integer uh, uh, such that a sub k is not equal to zero. Okay, if there's no such k, then that says that um, uh, a sub n is the constant sequence whose constant term is one, which is the multiplicative identity, and the multiplicative identity is its own inverse own multiplicative inverse and so uh, we were done so we're going to assume that there exists such a k and uh, we're going to let a be the generating function for the sequence a sub k and that's equal to 1 plus uh, a sub k x to the k plus a sub k plus 1 x to the k plus 1 plus dot dot dot. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to multiply. What I'm going to try to do is construct a multiplicative inverse of a. So I'm going to start off uh, on building up to that multiplicative inverse by multiplying a by 1 minus a, uh, a, a sub k times x to the k um, and multiply that by a and this this is going to this is this part is moving towards the multiplicative inverse so that's equal to uh, we got a one here okay then one times a sub k plus one times negative a sub k and that's going to give us zero so that term's going to go away and then we're going to be left with I don't know what this 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 the, the the coefficient of x to the k plus one is going to be, but I don't care. I'm just going to call it b. It's going to be something. It might be zero. Uh, okay. Now, if if all the b sub k's here are zero then we're done. Then 1 minus a sub k x to the k is the multiplicative inverse of a. Uh, if not, that one of these b sub k's are going to be 0. And we pick the first one. And then we, we can eliminate that one. But we're going to just, just for um, just just to make things easier, we're going to assume this, this, this b sub k plus 1 is non-zero. Right, so we're gonna if if it's okay, we're just gonna do that. One, so we're gonna repeat this process: one minus b to the b sub k plus one x to the k plus one times one minus a sub k x to the k uh, times a, and that's gonna give us one. And again, by the same logic, one times b sub k plus one plus one times negative b uh, sub k plus one is zero so this term is gone this this term is gone and we're going to be left with uh, the k plus second term which I don't know what it is and I don't care so I'm just going to call it uh, c uh, sub k plus two times x to the k plus two uh, plus dot 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 and again if uh, all the C's that we got going out here, if they're all zero and we're just left with one, then the multiplicative inverse of A is one minus B sub K plus one to the X, X to the K plus one uh, times one minus A sub K times X to the K. The, the product of this term is the multiplicative inverse of A. Um, OK, 
okay if we assume that uh, there is a a, a, a non-zero term somewhere in here um, we can eliminate that by doing this same process but we're just going to assume that c sub k plus 2 is non-zero and then we repeat 1 uh, 1 minus c sub k plus 2 x to the k plus 2 times 1 minus b sub k plus 1 times x to the k plus 1 times 1 minus uh, uh, a sub k times x to the k. And, and this right here, we're building up our multiplicative inverse. So what we've just done by this product is uh, get rid of this, this term right here. And then if there's a non-zero term, uh, uh, k plus 3, we can get rid of that. And if there's a k plus 4, we can get rid of that. And if there's a k plus 5, we can get rid of that. And we can keep on doing that process on and on and on ad nauseum. And, that, and that's what I, I want to show that the process can be continued on and we can get us a multiplicative inverse, but it might take us to infinity. It might take us a process that goes off, that never ends, but, but, but it's a process nonetheless. And that's what I claim is proof that uh, A has a multiplicative inverse by saying that, that I got this one and I can continue to, to eliminate these terms until eventually um, uh, they're all gone. Uh, and you might end up with an infinite product here. Uh, so, and I know that's not really uh, a great proof. Uh, and I'm going to think about that for a while. And if I can, uh, if I can figure out something that's more formal, and uh, this is, seems to me sort of hand waving, but um, it, it has to be what it is because I have to move on. <laughs> um, so, so we're going to do a, a specific example, um, and that's I, I want to compute the multiplicative inverse of this uh, the sequence of this generating function and the sequence is a0 is equal to 1 a1 is equal to negative 1 a n is equal to 0 uh, for n greater than 0 um, and, and we're going to follow this process that we we went through up here we're going to follow this process to compute the 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 multiplicative inverse of 1 minus x. So the first thing to do is uh, uh, find the first non-zero term uh, uh, that's not constant, the non-constant, non-zero, non-constant term. And that's this first term here. And it's a sub 1, and that's a sub 1. And that's going to be, we want to be 1 minus a sub 1, which is negative 1. So it's going to be plus 1. Um, no. 1 times x is just x. And let me go up here. So it's going to be 1 plus x times 1 minus x. And that's going to be equal to, so it's uh, 1. And then it's going to be 1 minus 1 times 1 minus x plus 1 times x. And they cancel out just like we've, we've that process, this whole process up here, that the previous process of the proof. Uh, and then we can multiply these two terms and we get minus x squared. And we can eliminate this term by 1 minus this coefficient, which is a minus 1. So that's 1 plus uh, x to the squared and times 1 plus x uh, uh, times 1 minus x. And that's just going to be uh, 1 and the negative x times 1 plus x squared times 1, negative x squared times 1, plus x squared times 1, and that's going to cancel out. So it's going to be uh, left with x to the fourth. And we continue that process, and that's going to be 1 plus x to the fourth uh, times 1 plus x squared times 1 plus x times 1 minus x. And that's going to equal to 1 minus x to the eighth power. And this process goes on forever. It's never going to stop. And so I have to stop because I only have a limited amount of time. I can't do something uh, forever. So I'm just going to go ahead. This is 
we're working up to a multiplicative identity so I want to go ahead and multiply see what we got so far multiply out so I got 1 plus x to the fourth times 1 plus x squared times 1 plus x is equal to 1 plus x to the fourth times 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and that's going to equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus x to the fifth plus x to the sixth plus x to the seventh. Up, 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 up. Okay, let's see what time we got. Okay. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this process as it's evolving and I'm going to try to figure out a pattern because that's what you're going to if you're actually going to compute and actually you got to find a pattern because you just can't keep multiplying out forever um, um, even though theoretically it's possible so 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 the pattern I see a pattern I see every coefficient is one here every coefficient is one so I'm going to say I'm going to define a sequence b sub n is equal to one so that defines the sequence b sub n. Okay, and then I know my, my sequence 1 minus x is a0 is equal to 1, a1 is equal to negative 1, a n is equal to 0 for n greater than 1. So what I want to do is multiply it. So I'm going to let c n be the product of, of a n times b n. And so C0 is just A0 times B0, and that's equal to 1. So, so far, so good. Cn, there's only two terms. A has only two terms. So that's A0 times Bn plus um, uh, A1 times B to the n minus 1, and that's going to be equal to A0 is 1. All the Bs are 1. Uh, plus a1 is negative 1 times all the bn's are 1 so that's going to be 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 and that's what we're uh, that's what um, so so c, our c n is 0 for all n greater than for all n greater than 0 and uh, C0 is equal to 1, so that's the multi CN, so that makes CN is the multiplicative identity. So therefore, for uh, the sequence Bn defined by, by Bn equal to 1 is the multiplicative inverse of uh, a n whose generating function is Okay, that's all I have time for uh, right now. Um, uh, I'll continue with this next time. Okay, thank you.